Hi, I'm Jessica Rose. The FMCSA wants to know how detention time is affecting you personally. And the National Transportation Institute notes some significant change in the pace of driver pay. Hi, I'm Craig Moulton with this week's Trucker Tech Report. Freightways acquired Stack Up Incorporated, and a startup in Hawaii has a new approach to fuel savings that mimics nature. Hi, I'm Dave Compton. A trucker in California has been running outlaw for 24 years before the CHP catch up with him, and the Minnesota DOT cameras show a trucker weaving in and out of traffic for several miles. All this and more news on this edition of the Trucker News Channel. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration is making a public call for truckers on how much time they spend waiting to be loaded and unloaded. The organization says they want to learn more about detention time and understand how those delays might impact highway safety. Starting on June 10th, the FMCSA will accept public comment on the topic of trucker detention for a 90-day period. A January 2018 study issued by the Department of Transportation Office of Inspector General estimated that waiting at loading docks reduces income by $1.1 to $1.3 billion for four higher commercial motor vehicles and the truckload sector. Detention time costs individual truck drivers between $1,281 and $1,534 per year. The DOT study further speculates that not only does detention time increase fatigue, but it can also cause frustration and reduce reduced income and may contribute to dangerous behavior such as speeding and violations of hours of service requirements. Many have heard the term running outlaw. Well, the California Highway Patrol recently came across a trucker who was taking that term to the extreme. The Gilroy Commercial Enforcement Facility shared a Facebook post about their encounter with a driver with a CDL that had expired 24 years ago. The driver's medical certificate was even older. The trucker's problems with the law didn't end just with his license. The CHP said the trucker failed to stop for a red light, had no logbook in his possession, and was using his cell phone while driving. He also had no copy of his registration and no record of motor carrier permit. Sounds like he took the term outlaw trucker to a whole nother level. The truck driver was placed out of service. Can a bonus this big really pay out this fast? With all the bonuses and everything, I don't know how they do it, because they're, they're phenomenal with their bonuses. That's right. You'll get an extra $12,000 your first year at U.S. Express. That's an extra 1000 bucks every month. We're hiring immediately, so click or call now. Minnesota troopers came to the aid of a truck driver who was swerving across lanes for several miles. DOT cameras captured the rig along with Minnesota State Patrol receiving multiple calls about a swerving semi-truck on Highway 169 in Shakopee. As the video shows, the driver weaved in and out of traffic for several miles. Finally, he was able to pull off to the right shoulder near the County Road 83 exit. A state trooper pulled his cruiser in front of the semi-truck, bringing it to a final stop. Luckily, nobody was injured in the incident, and officials believe the truck driver was suffering from a medical emergency. The National Transportation Institute says it has noticed a significant change in the pace of pay moves by carriers and historic mileage pay rates for the first quarter of 2019. The trends from first quarter point to the continued difficulty in attracting and keeping highly qualified drivers. While the sign-on bonus continues to hold a traditional spot in the driver recruiting toolbox, some recruiters are beginning to take the viewpoint that guaranteed pay and transition bonuses are a better reflection of the driver's value. Those findings make note that the industry is reaching uncharted territory in the area of mileage pay, with rates of up to 65% per mile for solo drivers. With CatScale's Way My Truck app, you can be in and out and back on the road in mere minutes. Simply register at waymytruck.com and download the app to your smartphone. The more information you provide, such as company name, truck number, and trailer number, the faster your ways will go, so be sure to include as much as possible. When you pull in, just line up on the scales, fire up the app, verify the information, and the cashier will take it from there.
Freightways, a data and content source for the freight markets, has acquired StackUp Incorporated as part of a multifaceted partnership with the Truckload Carriers Association that will build on a previously per A data and marketing agreement established in November of 2018. StackUp is the developer of the Engage online benchmarking platform used exclusively by the TCA Profitability Program to compare and contrast financial and operational performance. As the exclusive software service provided for TPP, StackUp has built a significant database of carrier and brokerage profiles. This new partnership between TCA and Freightways further fuels TCA's membership growth and enhances active participants in the TCA profitability program. Cruise.io is a clean tech auto tech company that makes an aftermarket device that trucking companies attach to their gas pedals to smooth performance that the company says could save them hundreds of thousands of dollars in fuel costs. The company uses a unique previously only theoretical way to dramatically improve fuel efficiency through autonomous micro hyper milling technology that has 13 patents worldwide and they do it all without user intervention. Cruzio's Pulse Cruise technology was modeled off the way that nature, which uses momentum in combination with pulse drive systems to allow biological systems to use energy efficiently and travel further. There are no upfront costs to the unit as the company uses a savings as a service payment model where they split the savings that you achieve each month. The product works in diesel, hybrid, electric, driver, driverless vehicles. For more information on Cruise.io, you can go to the link below. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to click the little red subscribe button below. You can also go to thetrucker.com to read the latest breaking news stories. That's it for this edition. On behalf of David Compton, Craig Maltman, myself, and everyone here at the Trucker News Channel, thanks for watching.